Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith in Flower. I'm Robin, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about transitioning over to gray hair. I have been without dyeing my hair for 18 months now, and so today I'm going to show you my progress, talk a little bit about that transition, and also talk to you about being brave and being bold when it comes to your hair and your attitude about hair. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I have been using Function of Beauty for several months now exclusively. I love them because they offer hair care and now body care that is customizable and they are delivered straight to your door. They also don't contain any parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and all products are 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's easy to create customized products of your own by taking the two minute online quiz outlining your hair type, hair goals, and personal preferences. My hair is straight and fine with normal moisture, and my hair goals that I chose were anti-aging, thermal protection, volumize, shine, and reduce brassiness. Choose up to five to create your custom blend, and they even offer a silicone free formula. You also get to choose the color and the fragrance. I chose All Eucalyptus, which is a 100% natural fragrance. It's a blend of peppermint and eucalyptus that I love. You even get to choose the strength of your fragrance and you get to write your name on the bottle, which I love. I think that's a great personal touch. In your box, you will receive a pamphlet with instructions and details about your hair goals and the ingredients. You even get a set of stickers to custom decorate your bottles. With my order, I chose the Custom Leave-In Treatment. This is a really great ultra lightweight conditioning cream that smooths, hydrates, and protects hair. Function of Beauty also now offers body care. They have a custom body wash that is made with nourishing ingredients that clean and nourish the skin, and Custom Body Lotion, which is a rich but never greasy moisturizer formulated based on your natural skin hydration level. Follow my link in the description box below to get 20% off your first order. I really have loved using Function of Beauty these last several months. These purple shampoos and conditioners, plus their leave-in treatment and the hair mask have been wonderful. I really give them a lot of credit for helping me in this gray transition because as my hair was growing out, the dyed hair, it was very brassy. And so there was a huge contrast between my natural color and the natural gray that was coming in. And this was the thing that bothered me the most about this transition. And so these shampoos have really toned down that brassiness and also brightened up the gray. So as you can see, a lot of my gray is in the temple area of my hair and especially underneath. So it's more of a gray striped look that I'm getting. And I just did not know what to expect when I started this journey. I think we, none of us do, until we actually get into it. And because I had so much gray around my face, I thought that I had so much more gray hair. But as it was growing in, I realized that it was concentrated around my face, giving me some nice highlights that frame my face. And then a lot of little hairs interspersed all throughout and even more underneath, which is really interesting. So when I wear my hair back in a ponytail, it looks much more gray than when I wear it down. Earlier, I mentioned being bold and being brave when it comes to your hair and your attitude about hair. So you may have noticed that I had a pretty major haircut since the last time I did a gray transition video. I was inspired to cut my hair because I look back on my youthful self and realize that I used to have more of an attitude that my hair will grow back, so why not try something new? Why not get a fresh new look and reinvent myself a little bit periodically? And I wasn't afraid to do that when I was younger, so I don't want to get stuck in a stale style or just feeling that this one look is the only thing that's going to work for me. So I look back over photographs of when I was younger and the different styles that I knew worked and that I liked, and I arrived at this one, and it also is helping me get through my gray transition a little quicker, which is a big bonus. But what I really wanna to talk to you about is 
the fact that lots of times when we get older, we get sort of set in our ways in a lot of different areas of our life. And one of the ways that we can have a more youthful attitude, at least when it comes to our hair, is not to be afraid to experiment a little bit, to make some changes and go for something fresh and new once in a while. And during this great transition can be a really great time to get a shorter cut because it will help with the transition. And it also just freshens up your look. Your hair's a little bit healthier when you have a fresh cut. There are just a lot of bonuses. As I have mentioned before, Pinterest and Instagram can be great sources for images of women of all different ages with all different hairstyles and all sorts of gray hair patterns to gain inspiration. And so I frequently look there to get ideas, especially when I'm contemplating a change and when I just need some encouragement if I'm having a bad hair day and we all have those to just keep going, not to have a weak moment and revert back to dyeing my hair as an impulse decision. There are also some celebrities that have been doing this actually for quite a long time and I think that they are definitely you know pushing the envelope on this and opening the door for all of us who prefer to have natural hair and so far so good I'm still on my gray hair journey. I'm hoping that in another six months or so I will have reached close to this length. I'm not sure, it feels like it's slowing down a little bit, but it's blending so well. And as I mentioned, using the purple shampoo is really helping. And so I don't feel like it looks strange anymore. And of course, I'm just getting used to seeing myself this way as well. I'm encouraged by other women who have made the decision. And so I'm here to encourage you too, if that's something that you want to do. Today's video is intended to give you some inspiration if you are on a gray hair transition journey of your own, or if you are contemplating transitioning over to natural gray hair. If you are content coloring your hair, then by all means continue. I'm not speaking out against that in any way. I did it for years and it was the right choice for a period of my life and now I've just decided to choose something different. I also hope that today's video gave you some inspiration to be a little bit more bold, a little bit more brave when it comes to the attitude you have about your hair and about making changes when it comes to your hair. So if you enjoyed today's video and found it inspirational, then definitely give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe to Faith and Flower. Subscribing is easy and absolutely free. And if you activate the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you for spending your time with me today. You know I love hearing from you in the comments, so I can't wait to see you there and in the next video. Have a great week.